but I formed my first company that did marketing and public relations while I owned the restaurant to help out some other friends of mine. And then when I sold a restaurant that I had in Providence and a restaurant that I had in Newport, I went to that agency full time. And within a month, I had seven clients. And um, that agency was Bella Consulting Events, and that just kept growing and propelling. One of our biggest clients was Alex and Ani, uh, the jewelry company, and they uh, bought us out two years into their agreement. We, they bought the company. I think what's been not been recognized is that the majority of small businesses survive week to week, if not month to month, and that's not understood. That's a challenge you make understand. When the first shutdown happened, people that had to pay their restaurant sales taxes that were due from February and then got shut down in March, what most people don't realize is they rely on those funds till the very day the taxes are right. until they do. And that was the first thing that made small businesses, not just restaurants, but other small businesses realize that the state's out of touch with how they work. And we've gotten to the point where we're not counting dollars, we're counting pennies. So we're not, we went from quarters to nickels and dimes to now we're to the point that restaurants and small businesses now are counting their pennies to see how they can get through these moments. I believe in Rhode Island up until this point, up until where we are now in December, that we've fared better than other states. That more of our restaurants, more of our small businesses stayed open. I think that's partly to the character of the people in the state where we've been more resilient and more creative, yep. especially up here in Federal Hill. We had Alfresco that lasted 26 weeks that were between the avenue. Um, and brought all the restaurants around the street that have never been done before, and it was 14 blocks on the avenue. Um, so I think that that's to our credit, and I think had we not done some of those things statewide, that you would have seen that we probably would have lost 40 or 45 percent of our restaurants by this point. There's no one that knew what to do, and now you're learning as you go, whether you're a politician, whether you're Dr. Alexander Scott. So I, I can't come in and fault the governor for specific moves and specific steps. I can say that from our perspective that she has listened. Mm -hmm. um, she hasn't always done what we've asked, but that's her position. Yeah. Um, but I can say that she's actually listened and kept us involved. Um, I can tell you right now that I there's very few other people I know that probably could have done the job that she did. You've got a Walmart or a Home Depot or a Lowe's, these national brands, or a supermarket, where I can walk in, I'm touching people every three seconds, not on purpose, but yet we're taking the hit that we are.